So hello, I'm Mickey Johnson, the social media editor at Livebooks, and I'm here today with world-renowned conservation photographer, Art Wolf, and uh, his business partner, uh, Jim Martin, who's also a photographer himself. Would you say hi to Art? Hello there. <laughs> hi, Jim. So you mentioned that several years ago you sort of realized that um, the Getty model of stock photography, which had been important to you for a long time, is maybe not going to be increasing or growing in the way that you wanted, and so you sort of started doing your own thing. So I'm wondering, first of all, what you sort of saw happening with Well, Getty. I mean, you know, long story short, we saw a diminishing revenue coming in from Getty as long ago as six or seven years. And about six years ago, I thought, okay, either I change my business around or I'm going to be simply, you know, uh, laying off people that have spent a lot of time working with me. And so I, uh, I thought, well, TV is perhaps an option. I, I had done a TV program called Photo Safari years and years before, felt confident that I could pull that off. And I also thought it could generate potentially more uh, interest than collectively all the books I had ever worked on uh, over 30 years. And so I pursued the TV show and uh, with the idea that it would bring in clients to our, our website and start to make up some of the income that uh, we were losing through stock. And also, I have a very strong environmental ethic and I thought this would be a better way of getting the message out. So combination of those two things and here we are. We've got a TV show, we've got a new website, and things are on, on a good trajectory. Would you not say that? Well, I'd say that, but to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Art had about uh, 1,500 images on Getty, and uh, they started taking fewer and fewer images. So now with our own site and, and, um, and the technologies available to us, we intend to post 30,000 images which should make uh, even uh, a fairly dramatic impact. And so now you're selling those images essentially directly to the art buyer, the yes, image buyer. Yes, that's, that's exactly right. And so it's up to us to drive traffic, but we have the potential to do it, and, and we're motivated to direct them our way, whereas uh, a large agency wouldn't be. Yeah. From my perspective, I'm delighted to be able to bring to light photos I've taken over you know, 30 years and a great variety of images rather than what I've been uh, known for or pigeonholed, which is furs and feathers, you know. Oh, Art Wolf, you're the wildlife guy. And, you know, early on in my career, that was fine, but uh, certainly in the later part, it's a liability if that's all the association is. So with the live books and our stock site going up, we're able to show all sorts of variety of subjects that I've been photographing for the last 25 years. That um, you're also growing in the region of education, and you've been teaching for a long time. But you're doing these new workshops that are kind of a whole new thing for you. And tell me, tell me why they're new and, and why you're excited about them. Well, I'm excited about them because I'm uh, limiting the number of participants to ten, which enables me a greater amount of time with each student, and so therefore I'm tackling much more esoteric much more uh, difficult subjects to get across than just f-stops and shutter speeds and camera angles and things like that. It's much more uh, about why a photograph sings and other ones look like they've died on the vine. And I'm utilizing uh, my knowledge of painters and different painting movements to kind of hang the show. So I'm covering ground that I want to think that uh, is covered very often in photography classes and I'm certainly uh, buoyed by the fact that I'm teaching something new that will be a, a great challenge for me to get across and yet I know I can do that and I'll learn all along the way. So it's a new model, new ideas and certainly by the end of the class the people will either want to kill me or they'll want to have my child. <laughs>